hi welcome back once again today i'm going to show you now something uh you may be a android studio user yeah you may be using this emulator uh, to run your app i'm going to show you a better option to use an emulator instead of this virtual device you can also connect it to the phone by a usb cable but it's actually outside our main screen which is the screen if you want to show the actual phone in the like this in the screen you can do it like here this is my actual phone you can even click with your mouse and type in with your keyboard in here you can also manually control from the phone it's screen copying it's what actually it's called to enable this i will show you the steps first of all you need to connect a usb to your mobile and turn on the usb debugging to turn on usb debugging you need to go to your settings and in system settings you can see developer option if your developer option is not showing up you can click on the about phone and maybe in various phone it's different here um, my option is built number multiple click will enable the here it's showing you are already a developer multiple click will enable the developer option you can go to the developer option now you need to turn on usb debugging after turning on um you need to download some files um i will put it in the link in the description okay i'm closing it to show you again here yeah, now my i'm closing the simulator too after downloading the files um the downloaded file will look like this and you need to enter to this folder in my case it is in the e drive it is in the e drive so you need to open up cmd and i am opening e if you place it in c drive you need to type in c there you can see the folder now the root folder in the e the current folder is here sorry in the e adb now you to change the folder you need to type in cd cd stands for change directory cd adb that's my folder name you can list the devices by adb devices can see my device name id here to enable screen copy you need to type in scrcpy and press enter here you go you can now see your mobile in the screen okay that's it and you can run your app directly onto your mobile like running this in your mobile why it's not an emulator you know it you can directly see it from here it's actually building I even use this service for another purpose like automating the games like uh, you can use for even it in full screen and I use python code to automate some funny games like simple games in python I'll put it in another video here the app runs on our, our 
phone is shown as emulator by using emulator you may feel like it's too slowly but in an actual phone it is not slow it's working smooth you can even play games on it that's it thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe thank you